Right, it's not much work it can do on uh, either of the, the Triumph uh, or the Ducati at the moment. Uh, so I just thought I'd uh, show you a few of the mods I've done to the, the Chinese mini lathe. Um, starting with, I don't know if you've got one of these things, but they're not, they were never very stable. The footprint is, is quite narrow uh, underneath. So one of the first things I did was just make up these, uh, I'll see a little bit of square bar, um, bolted into the mid original mountain points right, right underneath there. Um, and I reused the rubbers, just making them. So you've got a, f a wider, wider footprint on either side, just makes it much more and less liable to rock. And it, it really is quite stable now. Um, and the other thing I didn't like was that's the original uh, sort of housing that goes over there, over here, over the chuck um, safety thing. I didn't like that, so I just bent up this little bit of um, aluminium plate. Just you know, if you if you forget, take your chuck key out uh, and safety switch on there and also a little chip guard on here just protects that a little bit protects the uh, the ways there and I also bought a little um, stop but the thing I found was if you can see the original mounting hole for the screw the stop screw is right in there and that used to hit on this little I think I can't see that little screw right in there it used to hit and that's a round headed screw so it used to hit the side of that I didn't think that was very accurate uh, so I just made this extra plate and block threaded it with a little bit of a longer screw in uh, see that I can set that adjust this to wherever and that actually hits the side sort of here rather than that little screw um, and the other thing well, what most people do change this the normal allen bolts that hold this end end plate onto these little brass nailed things just makes that quicker and easier to take this plate off or cover rather um, I don't know well you got to see this but how hey, well you know these things hey, the banjo plate is normally this weird looking thing um, which this hole here sits over the end of the lead shaft here um, and uh, it sort of swivels swivels around sorry the other way around swivels around uh, so you can you know adjust your different screws for your your thread settings um, that just seemed to be a rubbish idea really uh, so I made up as a a bush which goes over the lead screw and there's a plate which runs up here it basically does the same same as that without all this bit and there's a tiny grub screw in there which just holds your adjustment um, well, I'll probably have to I'll take that off there so you can have a better look at it um, and the other thing is I did have a three inch or well, they come with a three inch chuck um, that's the original shaft so replace that with a four inch so you get a four inch chuck on there this gives you a bit more scoop and also what I was about it replace these these are the plastic um, high and low gears gears and that one as well 
replace these with metal ones. Um, just they seem a little bit, you know, plastic, a bit weak. Although the only thing is, these are really quiet, and the metal ones, metal gears, are quite noisy. Uh, so that's one thing to think of if you are going to change, change your gears from plastic to metal. Um, another little thing I did here. There's a plate on the end here. Um, a very simple divider. Um, got this. This uh, threads in there. And we've got this shaft sort of a weight on the end of it step uh, we've got uh, it's got a little step in it there just drops in oh, and a little let's see that sort of little cut on the end that just drops in there and the right angle will drop into the so you can lock that basically locks locks the chuck um Anything you are um, restricted to is the, I think this is a 45 toothed gear, so you're you're limited to divisions of that um, on your divider. But yeah, it works for for some things. So and that was quite an easy thing to to make up. that and obviously that works in conjunction with with this which just uh, like that. I have to do this while I hold the camera so that obviously drops on there and you can you know and that's a tiny tiny chuck you can get different sizes of these got this off Banggood um, and basically you can put a cordless drill on there on this end um, for doing drilling that way uh, in fact if you if you want to know how to make this this adapter plate if you can have a look on Steve Jordan um, on his uh, YouTube channel he shows you how to make one of these uh, that's basically just a square square bar and a, and a small plate and these are dirt cheap these um, things are bang good uh, and they're actually really quite quite well made uh, and as for that um, just on a on a top also you can see I've got a different tool post on there because the one that comes with is even worse than useless really and the other thing is this handle it's got a, this is a uh, taper on there it slides inside there take a mandrel Tighten that up, and uh, we've got a manual rotation uh, for doing threading, stuff like that. Again, if you have a look on Steve Jordan on his YouTube channel, uh, you can see how to how to make one of those. Quite straightforward. It's just a taper. Um. Yeah, and I've also changed um, these uh, hand wheels with that one, that one there. Changed them to these cast, um, cast ones. That's what they come with. These horrible plastic, plastic things. I've still got a plastic handle on that one. I've got to either. Either make one as I have on there, it's just a piece of aluminium. 
turn down or, or buy one these these wheels actually come totally plain so you do have to drill drill and tap them uh, to get a handle on there uh, they just feel a lot better than the plastic ones not really necessary I suppose ah there we are yeah I think that's about it uh, for now can't think of anything else I've made but there we are that's a little if you've got a little um, a lot of these things you can find on YouTube channels how to make them I uh, just thought I'd show you what I've done to mine so far Thanks for watching.